and Ms. Smith. Good evening, everyone. My name is Brandon Eccles, and I'm an extremely strong candidate for District 7. Uh, I am running simply because I feel as though when our elected officials get in office, they, they, they tend to sometimes lose sight of why they, you know, were elected office. And that's simply to put the people of Shelby County first. And how do we do that? Well, right now, we need better employment opportunities within Shelby County. Our teachers are struggling to make ends meet on a day in and day out basis. They take care, of, they educate our kids Monday through Friday, sometimes on Saturdays, yet to go home and look at their kids in the face and tell them that I don't know if we'll be able to, we will be able to eat dinner tonight because mama's paycheck or dad's paycheck wasn't enough. That shouldn't be happening. Frontline first. Ms. Lois Lindsay, who I talk to all the time, I talked to her this morning, I went by just to check on her. Ten years working within St. Jude Housekeeping, still makes nine dollars an hour, struggling to make ends meet. Also, we have to fully fund education to ensure that every student has every resource needed to succeed down the road. These are our future teachers, lawyers, and entrepreneurs. Now, I'm a small business owner. We work with a small budget, but just because we have a small budget doesn't mean that we cannot get the job done. I will not take no for an answer. I will fight day in and day out to make sure that our, our students and, and that the citizens of Shelby County that work Monday through Friday, sometimes on the weekends, have what it needs to succeed. I have six years of experience working in the trauma unit at Edwards, well now it's Regional One Health in the, in the trauma unit, which means we make split second decisions, but it has to be the right decision the first time. Because if you make the wrong decision and you only have one chance to make the decision, that could affect not only one person, but people on down the road. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to start looking at what really happened, what's really happening in Shelby County. The poverty level is, is too high. Where I grew up, North Memphis, so many boarded up houses, so many dropouts, and you, you're, you're talking about closing the north side, that's only going to make it worse. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish I had more time to talk with you. I'd be more than, having, more, more than happy to talk with you after this and down the road. I ask for your support and I ask for your vote for District 7. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. <laughs> Ms. Daniels, for two, two reasons, since you look so very comfortable up there, right? That was new. And since the other candidate is not present, and actually three. We're going to get a little innovative up here, and what, what we would like to do is present the same questions that the other candidates for commission got, and I'd like you to respond to that. Would you mind? No, absolutely not. All right. First question. How do you intend to address the deficiencies in the handling of the rape crisis services? I pledge to work directly with the individuals to make sure that we have the adequate funding to make sure that every rape kid gets tested. Why? Not only because the women and men deserve it, because I have been a victim of molestation myself. I know how it feels to, and I was, I was molested by a man. I know how it feels. I know how it feels to have that void left open, knowing that that detective will not take my word because he said he didn't do it. What does that mean? Now I'm left. You don't know what that can do to a person's mind. Not only right now, but down the road. I have a wife, I have a daughter. Would never want them to experience that. And if it did happen to them, I will fight day in and day out to ensure that the women and men who have that boy that I have Get the closure that they need going forward. And I pledge, I promise, you have my word. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Took a lot of courage to say that, right? Amen. A lot of courage. Amen. Are you, are, you, are you prepared to take a, a second sure. question? Sure. All right. Question number two, just as uh, was previously asked to the other candidates. How would the proposed Fairgrounds Tourism Development Zone, how would that actually impact Shelby County school funding? Can you speak to that? Sure. Um, for me, it, it wouldn't affect it at all. Because I, again, 
education the young men and women of, the, of our Shelby County school systems. They come first. I'm going to make sure they have every tool necessary needed. And if that's going to take away from funding them, it's not, it's not what we need right now. What we need right now is our educated young men and women in Shelby County and to stay in Shelby County. We need that right now. That's what we need right now. Thank you. Thank you.